they lied to you about math and physics. They have lied to you. Society has lied to you. When you think of a person who is good at mathematics, a person who is good at physics, when you think of a scientist, what do you see? Right? What do you see? What do you picture? It is a stereotype that must be broken because it holds people back. It holds them back. I have known people who study math and physics, and it holds them back. I, I can think of specific examples of specific people that I have known, good people, great people, who let these expectations, let these preconceived notions of what a mathematics person must be. And it is wrong. It is wrong, you know, and I had these notions too. And, and it wasn't until I went to graduate school where I was surrounded by people who were incredibly smart, people who were brilliant at mathematics, people from all over the world. And I realized that there's really no such thing as a math person because we're all different. You know, I've known people from all over the world who are good at math. I've known people from India, people from China, from Italy, from France, from Germany, from Greece, people from the deep south who have a thick redneck accent and are married and have five kids and they can do math better than you, I'm sure. Right? So people from all walks of life, people from the hood, I mean, stop the stereotype. And a lot of times people will put barriers on themselves because they'll say, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm this type of person, so I can't do math. For example, I had a student once who was a bodybuilder. The guy was jacked. I mean, he was huge. He was, he was a, I don't know if he was a professional bodybuilder, but he competed. Like he actually went to competitions. I mean, he had a very strict diet. A uh, very strict routine. And so he would go to bodybuilding competitions. Actually, I had a friend who was the same, also a bodybuilder. He actually got a math degree. And a lot of times, he, you know, they would look at me and say, well, you know, I'm not really a math person. I'm a bodybuilder. And so don't, don't let society dictate who you are. You, you can do many things. You can wear many hats. You, you can be a bodybuilder and you can be a mathematician. You can be a physicist and you can be a bodybuilder, right? So, so don't don't let society put limits on what you can be and what you can become. I always think about one of my greatest heroes. His name is Arnold Schwarzenegger, and everyone knows who Arnold is. And he was a bodybuilder at first, right? He was a bodybuilder. He won the Olympia many times. That's the big body, biggest bodybuilding competition in the world. And then he became an actor, right? He was in the movies. He made tons of really famous movies. And then he became a politician after that. Like, wow, wow, right? What, what, what a series of events. So he didn't let himself be put in a box. You know, when Arnold wanted to be in the movies, they told him that he could never be in the movies because of his accent. Don't let people dictate what you can and can't do. And so if you love mathematics and you feel like you come from an unconventional place, you feel like I'm not really a math person. I don't wear thick glasses and I don't look like a nerd. They lied to you about society. They lied to you. Don't, don't, don't be the stereotype. Be your own person. Stand on your own two feet and study what you want to study. Do what you want to do. Do what you want to do. That, that's all I wanted to say in this video, because I think that a lot of people feel like they have to fit into a stereotype to do a thing. It's like, oh, if I want to study math, I have to do this, this, and this, and this, and I have to be like this. And that's fine. I get it. People like to belong to things. We like to feel like we belong to a group. But honestly, you don't need that. Be your own person. Stand up on your own two feet and be an individual. Study math like crazy. If you want to study math nonstop, study math nonstop. And then go go to the gym and do something else. Don't fall into the stereotype. Be your own person.
be your own person. If you want to learn math, check out my courses and books. Links in the description. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Subscribe to my channels, Math Sorcerer, Math Sorcerer Español, Internet Sorcerer. And remember that it's just a societal stereotype. You know, just because you see a math person with crazy hair and glasses and a scientist in a lab coat doesn't mean that that's the norm, you know? And, and you realize that as you meet more people, you know, as you, as you meet more people in your field, as you travel the world, as you meet people who are incredibly smart, you realize that smart people come in all shapes and sizes. There's no, the stereotype is just a stereotype. Yes, it's a stereotype for a reason. This is very true. Stereotypes exist for a reason, but there's exceptions every time. And don't let that hold you back from pursuing your dreams. You know, if you feel like you like math and none of your friends like math and you come from a different place and you don't look like a math person, that doesn't mean you can't be a math person. Again, I've, I've known people from all walks of life, all races, different countries, and, and they're all incredibly good at math. There's no, there's no set way. Stay strong, my friends.